to the race for president and Donald Trump's battle to stay on the ballot. The former president's campaign vowing to appeal Maine's decision to ban him from the state's primary ballot, citing the insurrection clause in the 14th Amendment. And tonight, what several former Trump White House staffers told us about whether he should ever be allowed back in office. Here's ABC's chief Washington correspondent, Jonathan Carl. Donald Trump's campaign says it will appeal what it calls the atrocious decision to bar him from the Maine Republican primary ballot. Maine Secretary of State Shanna Bellows decided to remove Trump's name from the ballot after she determined he took part in an attempted insurrection on January 6th and is therefore disqualified from running for office under the 14th Amendment to the Constitution. I am mindful that no Secretary of State has ever before deprived a presidential candidate of ballot access under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, but I'm also mindful that no presidential candidate has ever before engaged in insurrection. There have been similar efforts to keep Trump off the ballot in more than 30 states, but so far Colorado is the only other state to do so, a decision now under appeal to the Supreme Court. Despite the challenges, Trump remains the clear front runner. I spoke exclusively to three women who supported Trump and worked for him in the White House, but who are now warning of the dangers of a second Trump presidency. What would a second Trump term look like? Fundamentally, a second Trump term could mean the end of American democracy as we know it. And I, I don't say that lightly. The fact that he feels that he needs to lean into being a dictator alone shows that he is a weak and feeble man. We don't need to speculate what a second Trump uh, term would look like because we already saw it play out. John Carl back with us now. And John, it seems all but certain at this point, this issue of whether former President Trump is eligible to be on various ballots will go to the Supreme Court. Well, what you have different states doing different things. Just last night, the state of California ruled against a similar effort to keep Trump off the ballot there. So it makes it highly likely the Supreme Court will have to ultimately decide this. In fact, Maine's Secretary of State said that she expects uh, the court will have to ultimately decide it. And when they do, if they do, she says she will respect their decision. Whit. All right, John, we appreciate it. Thank you. And John's exclusive interview with those former Trump White House staffers airs on this week, this Sunday, right here on ABC. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.